Warning. This video contains spoilers. If you do not want the upcoming episode spoiled for you, please leave this video right now. But don't forget to click like and subscribe before you do. Right, so as I said, spoiler warning ahead. The show's about to be ruined for you. You ready? Three, two, one. Cauliflower and kale fused together. See, show ruined. Only kidding, but yeah. In episode 115 of Dragon Ball Super, it's been announced that cauliflower and kale fused together to create Kefla. Oh man. I'm not going to lie, when we first received information that a new Super Warrior was going to come to Dragon Ball Super and then we received the information that it was going to be a fusion, I did not expect this. Like honestly, I thought it'd be these little shits. But nonetheless, it's basically confirmed that we'll be getting fusion in the Tournament of Power, right? So how does this change anything? Well, first of all, how strong is this Kafla going to be? This could, this could potentially give Universe 6 an advantage. Wait. This technically means they'll only have three people left, right? <laughs> Universe 6 is fucked. We also got a little bit of a spoiler, once again, spoiler warning, that apparently Sharper is going to be the one that teaches them fusion. Alright, so that's the news for what's about to come in Dragon Ball Super. Now it's time to touch base on what's been uh, happening in the Dragon Ball community for the week. <clears throat> this has been floating around. In latest news, Goku and Gohan actually create Putara earrings out of nothing in the tournament and fuse into Gokan. Oh my god! But for real, first thing I thought when I saw this was, pff, why would Goku fuse with Gohan? To lower his power level? <laughs> ah, Gohan fans, it was just a joke, calm down. But then I realized, dang, what if they actually fuse? Firstly, what would they be called? Apparently they'd be called Gokan, according to this article, but nah. We need something better than that. Ooh, I've got a fusion name for Goku and Gohan. What if we, what if we take the Go from Gohan and take the Ku from Goku? Awesome. So anyway, if they fused, what would this be like for the character that they create? Obviously, this character would be stronger than both Goku and Gohan. That's, that's rule 11 of the fusion handbook. But this character would also be more strategical. I mean, Gohan is a smart guy. We all know this. With Goku's fighting skill and strength mixed with Gohan's intelligence, this guy would be overpowered. Would he be overpowered enough for Jiren though? I mean, I mean, look at this guy. We've had hints that Goku and Gohan will be the last two fighters for Universe 7, but what do you guys think? Is fusion a possibility? Let me know in the comments down below. Right, now to end this video off, there are four potential fighters that could be the hero for Universe 7. First is Goku, because when has it not been Goku? Next is Gohan. Uh, the arc has been building Gohan up to be the hero, but is it too early for him to be the hero again? I mean, it would be freaking awesome if something in this tournament sets Gohan off to go back down the training route, but to be the winner of the tournament, I'm not sure. Vegeta is the next potential hero, which would be awesome for him to finally get his moment. FINALLY! But this guy gotta get some Ultra Instinct in him first, you know what I'm saying? And the last hero, that would be Frieza, which... Straight up, I want this more than anything else. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, smash that like button. Remember to comment your thoughts on the situation. Uh, what would what would a fusion of Gohan and Goku be like? Would it even be possible? Let, let me know. And subscribe for the next episode of Dragon Ball Weekly. 1,000 likes and I'll make it a series. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a few buttons on screen. To the left, we have one that will take you to my latest video, which was on Vegeta and his uh, true intentions in the Tournament of Power. The one on the right is a random video, so check that out if you want to watch more of me. And in the middle you can subscribe so thanks for watching peace